If the rumors are true, a renowned company might be preparing to put EVs in an existential crisis. Toyota is preparing to shake the entire car manufacturing industry with its latest innovation, a water power car engine. But the question is, will it work? Stay tuned to find out. Toyota has always been environmentally conscious, so it's no surprise that the company is always looking to make their engines more and more eco-friendly, but this time their latest reveal is supposedly about to change the game for all vehicles. Pretty soon, the idea of electric and hydrogen-powered cars will seem like a thing of the past, as their latest project is a water-powered engine. I know it sounds like something from a science fiction book, but this is Toyota we're talking about. The company has a history of breaking new technological ground. Thanks to its 1.6-litre hydrogen three-cylinder engines and hydrogen-powered vehicles like the Toyota Mirai, the business has established itself as a leader in environmentally friendly automotive technology. But these days, they're looking for something completely different. Although the idea of a water-powered engine is not new, it has frequently been dismissed as something only fit for academic pursuit, low-budget garage experiments, or aspirational endeavors. No big car company has even come close to achieving it, or, for the most part, even tried it out. But this outlandish idea has the potential to become a game-changer in the world of automobiles, and Toyota knows that. Thanks to its world-class engineering expertise and substantial research and development resources, it might become our reality soon. Unlike other corporations, Toyota refuses to blend in with the crowd. In fact, it's the trendsetter in the car industry, the fad that major corporations mimic. Back in the 1990s, the idea of an electric car seemed like it had come from a sci-fi movie. Toyota debuted the Prius, the first hybrid electric vehicle, and paved the way for other manufacturers to follow suit. Some experts even think that Tesla wouldn't exist today if Toyota hadn't dared to innovate. That's why they aspire to be the electric vehicle industry's pioneer, with one goal in mind. Innovation, innovation, and only innovation. While conducting a primary study in the water engine space, Toyota discovered that some individuals had already made water-powered cars. But wait, wasn't Toyota the first? Well, let me explain. Although individuals did manage to make water-powered cars, they had some problems. Politics and the car's unrealistic designs made them unwanted. In the 1980s, during the height of the oil crisis in America, a small inventor named Stanley Myers made a water-powered vehicle that could go up to 180 kilometers on only four liters of water. But shortly after, numerous oil firms began threatening Myers the moment he made this concept public. In 1998, he, let's just say, met a very mysterious and shocking end. But what's even more surprising is that after his death, Myers' water-powered car and all of the ideas linked to it vanished. One could argue that the widespread adoption of electric vehicles would have been averted had those ideas been available in the present day. As a result, the Prius may have been the first and only electric vehicle to garner significant media attention had the water engine car achieved widespread popularity. Now, after more than two decades, Toyota is about to revive the concept. They even showcased a prototype. The biggest question right now is, how does an engine function using water? Well, Toyota's water-powered engine is still in its conceptual phase, so there's no concrete information to determine how it functions. But, based on the prototype, we can get a rough idea of what it's like. The battery splits the water in the engine using electrical energy, and the hydrogen that results from the split rotates the tires, technically converting the electrical energy to kinetic energy. Then, similar to an electrical generator, these turning tires transform that mechanical energy into electrical energy once more, which is then used to charge the battery. When compared to conventional hydrogen vehicles, which rely on inconvenient high-pressure storage tanks, this technology is light years ahead, since it uses real-time electrolysis to generate a self-sustaining cycle. This on-the-fly electrolysis eliminates the need for external hydrogen storage, making this smaller and lighter design possible. Hydrogen, after being separated, is fed into the combustion chamber and burns in a manner analogous to compressed natural gas. This means that there's no need for complex refueling stations or external storage systems because the entire structure is an efficient technical marvel. 
Not only that, the ecologically conscious consequences of this technology have the potential to be game-changing. Because it produces almost no pollution, it can hold its own against the most cutting-edge electric vehicles. It also avoids the oil consumption of conventional engines and the environmental impacts of rare earth metal extraction for battery production. In addition of being good for the environment, the engine is also very easy to operate. A vehicle using this engine can refuel with distilled water, which is plentiful and convenient resource. When compared to the challenges of refilling hydrogen vehicles or charging electric vehicles in regions where infrastructure is still developing, water-powered vehicles are a clear winner. In terms of environmental impact, this new engine is really promising. Just like EVS, it produces almost no emissions, however, it is significantly more handy since it can be refueled from almost any source of diluted water. Have Practical long issues have long plagued hydrogen-powered vehicles and other electric vehicles. Oil extraction and rare earth metal mining are two of the most polluting activities that threaten local water supplies and soil quality. But the water-powered engine minimizes the amount of pollution that comes from these sources, as, well, it avoids them. When compared to FCEVs and hydrogen combustion engines, water storage is incredibly easy and cheap, making Toyota's water engine stand out as an environmentally friendly marvel. Hydrogen, on the other hand, requires tanks that are heavily armoured and closely monitored, in addition to a substantial financial investment. Hydrogen gas, in its pure form, is difficult to control and can escape from storage tanks with the slightest disturbance. Thus, it requires continual watch and repair. On the other hand, put water in any plastic container and you have a fuel tank for a water-powered vehicle. If that sounds ridiculously easy, well, it is. With hydrogen, more complications arise when you attempt to store it in any place other than the car. This includes maintaining precise temperature conditions and using robust leak-proof tanks. But distilled water is easily accessible in most grocery stores and can even be made at home using simple chemical reactions. The high production and storage costs of hydrogen have prevented its broad use, which has led to higher consumer prices and diminished its potential as a sustainable fuel choice in the future. As a result, water engines are going to be incredibly useful for everyday life, even though they sound too good to be true. And to dispel any doubts, these engines can compete with or perhaps outperform conventional gasoline engines. In comparison to gasoline engines, water engines may produce three times as many megajoules. But that's not all. Water engines are safer than others as well. Their simple mechanical designs greatly minimize the chances of fire or explosions caused by the lack of continually stored, highly combustible fuels. In comparison to conventional gasoline engines, water-powered engines are more scalable, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly. Because of their lack of complexity, they are less expensive to manufacture than EVs or FC EVs, which could be a game-changer for developing nations that are just short on oil. An Iranian scientist, Ali Din Kasami of Iran, proved the feasibility and promise of such technology by making his Peugeot 405 run on water, even without the necessary funds. What makes this project even more interesting is the fact that his converted 405 managed 30 to 40 miles per gallon of water, which was better than the gas-powered variant. This proved the incredibly efficient use of fuel in water-powered motors. This also shows that the water-powered vehicles have the potential to achieve remarkable fuel economy with the right engineering, which would make them much more economical to run. Even though this engine is still in its early stages, it shows promise for the future. However, there will be challenges to their broad adoption. Consider the safety problems surrounding comparable hydrogen-powered vehicles. However, thanks to the protective designs of hydrogen combustion engines and the inherent stability of hydrogen storage in water, it is conceivable to create water-powered cars that are completely safe. While not presently included in Toyota's idea, a hydrogen backup tank could be helpful in case that the electrolysis process encounters any issues. Not to mention, dependability is another one of its strengths. Water-powered cars would have a simpler engine, so they don't break down as often as EVs. The engine is expected to have minimal maintenance expenses because of its straightforward design. Less electronic and mechanical parts mean it's less likely to break. But what do you think? Will water-powered cars take over the automobile industry, or is it just hype? Let us know in the comments below.